The one thing that I haven't shown you, because here I'm just going to read you part of the judge's decision, was a similar demonstration on the evolution of the immune system. And Behe has written, and it's part of in Pandas, that Darwinian explanations of the evolution of the, the immune system are hopeless and doomed to failure. Well, he wrote that about 10 years ago. And it turns out, as I described in my testimony, a flurry of research has shown exactly how the gene shuffling system in the immune system did evolve. And the judge captured this perfectly in terms of what happened in trial. On cross-examination, Professor Behi was questioned about this claim that science would never find an evolutionary explanation for the immune system. He was presented with 58 peer-reviewed publications, nine books, and several immunology textbook chapters about the evolution of the immune system. However, he ignored all this and simply insisted that it still wasn't sufficient evidence of evolution and that it was simply not good enough. And the, 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 if you want theater in the courtroom, what the lawyer did was held up the first paper, have you read it? He said, no, this is a paper on the evolution of the immune system. Here's the second paper, have you read that? Yeah, I read that one, uh, so forth and so on. And gradually, all 56 papers were piled up in front of the witnesses, a witness all nine books and all of these textbooks, and he simply said, it's evidence that is not good enough for me. I think that made a very strong impression on the judge that here was someone who, regardless of scientific credentials, was determined to ignore the empirical evidence rather than to go by it. 